Hello everyone, this is Jackie speaking. And today I'm going to uh, show you how to use this GeekPi ENC28 J16 over less head uh, on your Raspberry Pi. And uh, I got Pi Zero W. Zero W, it's a um, very tiny uh, development board for the Raspberry Pi. And also, we got a Raspberry Pi 3 Mode B. So, let's hook up this module on your Raspberry Pi and just change the configuration file to let the module work properly on your Raspberry Pi, okay? And, um, you know, for the Pi Zero generation, no NIC. You, you'll find that there is no NIC module, so it's very inconvenient, you know, because its core system on this TF card is Linux. Most of operations are based on Linux command line via SSH service. So a network adapter is required. It's a stable and a faster um, than other other way, you know. And uh, the Pad Zero uh, OLA module is high. It's very easy to assemble and configure. And, and uh, let's try it. First, hook up your module on your Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi Zero like this. Ta da! It's done. And you can use some screws to fasten the module on your Raspberry Pi Zero. It's designed for zero, all right? But also, it can work properly on your Raspberry Pi 3 Mode B. Let's check it out. Use the same use the same way to assemble it. All right. It's okay. And then it's uh, it will not work properly unless you change the parameter on your uh, operating system's configuration file. So I got a TF card and the image the Raspbian operating system and then I uh, remove this card, insert to my computer and uh, use some editor to edit this file. We can use because my my laptop is uh, is Macintosh, so I can use. Uh, a shell to open a VAM. Use a VAM. It's a powerful uh, editor tools in your in Linux system. So we can use VAM to VA this boot config dot txt file. This file and add this parameter we add this one dt overlay equal enc 28 j 16 and press ESC on your keyboard. Press 
ESC to back to the uh, command mode and input colon WQ means write to the configuration file and quit. Also, you can use this. Colon X means uh, save it and quit. All right. When you finish this, your motor will work properly on your uh, Raspbian operating system. And then you can hook up the Ethernet cable and hook up. The other head, the other uh, cable to your rotor, and then power on your uh, Raspberry Pi. You will find it. It it can uh, get the IP address immediately. You can use this command line to on your command line to get the IP address information. You can open the terminal and type in if config command line to get the um, IP address information from this uh, this module. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. I will. Uh, give you another way to uh, testing this model on our Raspberry Pi uh, transmission okay see ya all right I hook up the uh, HDMI cable and uh, use a 503 2.5 n uh, power supply to turn on my Raspberry Pi and then Let's see that. I got a monitor to uh, all right. First of all, I will uh, turn off my Wi Fi. Okay, you will find that I got it. IP address from the module and also I just wrote open the terminal by click this LX terminal all right you will get this command line And uh, you can download a software called iperf3 and you can use this command solo apt get install iperf3 to install this software, this software is is uh, helping me to uh, detect the network environment. You can see that. It's a uh, perform network throughout tests. So I can use this command perf3 clan C means I am clan 
I will going to connect the one two one nine two one six eight one one o five, which uh, is a server that I running this command on my laptop. Okay. It will listen on five two zero one on this IP address. It's a TCP port. Okay, you will see that. All right, you can see that on my uh, Macintosh, I typing this command. I pref three uh, slash s means I am server, so it can perform a testing of network performance. You can see that uh, the bandwidth bandwidth is. 4.48 megabytes per second okay it means that your uh, network module is work properly so um, that's all thank you for your watching uh, hope you, you can enjoy this video and uh, um, Thank you. See you next time.